Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, I'm going to show you how to upload APK files as well as OBB files and expansion files to the Oculus Developer Console. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to upload just APK files using the Oculus Developer Hub. But if your game requires OBB files or expansion files, then that process won't work for you because it only allows you to upload one APK file at a time. Instead, what we can use is what's called the OBR platform tool inside of Unity. And this tool is included in the Oculus integration plugin. And so what we'll need to do is go to the Unity Assets Store. And in the search bar, we're just going to type Oculus Integration. This plugin is free and is actually developed by Oculus. And so you'll want to add this to your assets, after which we can go back to Unity. And in the Package Manager window, we can search for Oculus Integration, click Download, and then Import. Once the import window pops up, I'm not sure if we actually need all of this stuff, but I haven't tested only importing a part of this package, and so I'll leave that up to you. The main script that we need is what's called the OBR Platform Tool. So if you want to try just importing that script and see if you get any errors, that might be something that you can do, and if it works, it might actually save you some trouble down the road. But for now, I'm just going to import all of it. Once it's finished importing, you might get several different pop-up windows. And these pop-ups are for updating different plugins and for cleaning up some files. It may also ask you to restart your project as well. And I just go through all of these and accept them. And so we'll hit Yes on Update Oculus Utility Plugin. We'll hit Use OpenXR. We'll hit OK on this one. We'll hit Restart. Show Assets, which is recommended. And in this window, we'll select Clean Up, which is also recommended. We'll click Upgrade and Restart one more time. Once Unity is finished restarting, we can now open the OVR platform tool. We can do this by going to the Oculus drop-down menu, go to Tools, and then select Oculus Platform Tool. Inside this window, you'll see a number of different fields for connecting this project to an Oculus app on your Oculus Developer Console. And the main two fields are Oculus Application ID and Oculus App Token. To get these values, we're going to go over to our Oculus Developer Console, and you'll need to select the app that you want to upload a build for. And then in the left-hand menu, we're going to select API. And on this page, we can see our app ID, which goes into the ID field. And then the app secret, which goes into the token field. And then the next field is for which release channel we want to upload our build for. There's alpha, beta, RC, and production. But for production, the code that we type in here is actually live. We then have our release notes, which is where we type in any changes that we've made for this next update. Now for the build APK file path, you just need to make sure that you build your project beforehand. And once you have your APK file, we can then select it by clicking the choose button and clicking on that file. Now I don't have any debug symbols, so I'm going to uncheck that option. And then under optional commands, this is where we can select our OBB file or other expansion files for DLC. For the OBB file field, you can just select the file directly. For the asset directory field, you should have a folder that you put all your expansion files in, and you're setting the file path to that folder. It'll then populate a list with all the files inside that directory, like you can see here in this other project. But once you've finished filling out this window, there's one more option, which is this checkbox for Run OVR Lint. And this is just an optimization check to make sure that some of the settings of your project are set properly. But what I do for this is I just open the OVR Performance Lint Tool, which can be found under Oculus Tools and then OVR Performance Lint Tool. And if there's any buttons in this window that say Fix, I just click them all and then call it good. And so now we can actually unclick that OVR Lint option and then we'll click Upload. And there you can see that our upload was successful. Now if I go over to my Oculus Developer Console, you'll be able to see that your build code has been incremented. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to upload your APK, OBB, and expansion files to the Oculus Developer Console. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.